to move into what we call the grassy knoll. And you're more than welcome to take a seat on the bank, that's what it's designed for. We do it all the time. Um, so please feel free to move on in, because otherwise I think the, the angle's going to be a bit awkward for everybody. Good evening everybody, and welcome to Sputnik Agency. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with Sputnik or may not have been here before, we have got a couple of our clients here in Conservation Foundation and Origin, which is really nice to see. Um, we're a digital marketing services company that's been here for about 10 years. Um, we've never, in those 10 years, had a book launch in our space. And I'm really pleased to say that my very good friend in Ben um, has been the first person who actually managed to make that happen. So, welcome Benny, um, and welcome everybody. My first job for this evening is to introduce our key speaker for, for the night, um, Professor Pete, Peter Doherty, who all of you I'm sure are more than well aware of, was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1996 for his work in the field of immunology and was also in fact awarded the Australian of the Year subsequent to that in 1997. We're going to be talking a little bit about books this evening as you all know, and Professor Doherty, I thought, given that he was in a marketing organisation, I think the titles of two of his books at least should be highlighted, because I've got to say, they're pretty fine. One book entitled The Beginner's Guide to Winning the Nobel Prize, <laughs> and, and the second book entitled A Light History of Hot Air. <laughs> so. I don't know, Professor Doherty, but with titles like that, if it's not too late, you might just be considering a career in copywriting, because you do it pretty darn well. <laughs> anyway, with that, I'll transfer over to Professor Doherty, who's going to say a few words. And so I, I did the usual blurb detail read, which means I sort of dipped into it a bit and said, this is pretty good, and made up something, and they said, that's acceptable. <laughs> and, uh, and then, but I've actually read it. Uh, <laughs> ben said it to me yesterday, and I sat down. I, I, had a, I thought I had a copy somewhere. I think I might have left it in the States or something. I've got an apartment there. But, uh, but I, I sat down with it yesterday, and I, it, it's really good. <laughs> and, 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 and he's a young guy. And he, he writes like a dream. Either that or he's got wonderful editors. It's really <laughs> I didn't ask you. <laughs> well, that's one of the things you learn when you, you write a book, you know, that uh, scientists, we write research papers. They are kind of inaccessible to normal human beings. And, and, and we, we get editors involved, and they, we think they're pretty fierce. But if you write a book and you get involved with the editors in a publishing company, I mean, it's like going from, uh, from Daffy Duck to Genghis Khan. I mean, it's these little ladies who just, just tear you apart. They have no confidence or integrity left afterwards. <laughs> it's true, <laughs> it's true. yes. Yeah, I mean, it's, the literary world is very different, yeah. of course, from science, which is why it's impressive that, that Ben, who is a scientist, an oceanographer, has written a really nice, really accessible, and very, very real book. It, it really is a pleasure to read, and it's easy. You can read through it, or you can go straight through it, or you can dip into it. It's, he's called it kind of the Sandy McCall Smith of climate change. <laughs> <laughs> Very readable, and the fact that he started so young, I think there's going to be a lot of other good books. Now, now, what's this book about? Well, it's it's really about the climate change issue, and it's but it's very much about Australia, and how it's going to impact on us, and what we're going to have to do about it. So it hasn't been written for an international market. It's been written for an Australian market. It's very thoughtful. It's got a lot of data and evidence and detail, in it. and that's why I think all of us should actually read it because this is a big subject for us. We are totally vulnerable on this issue of climate change and what's going to happen with respect uh, to the greenhouse gases and carbon. Now, even if you're a skeptic and you think, well, this whole area is overblown and, and we shouldn't be paying so much attention to it, the fact of the matter is that we are not going to call the shots in the long run. The shots are going to be called on us because 
that's going to be dealt with internationally. There are going to be international constraints going through uh, uh, carbon taxes or carbon uh, 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 trading systems and all the rest of it that are going to impact on, on the cost of every product we make. As, as Ben draws out in his book, it's even going to, uh, for instance, the wine industry in Tasmania is at an advantage because they're using hydroelectric power. The wine industry in South Australia is at a disadvantage because they're using power from coal-fired plants. Now, if there's a carbon cost figured in on the international scene to wine produced in South Australia versus wine produced in Tasmania, Tasmania, for the first time ever, is going to be ahead of the game. So, you know, that, that is the type of issue we're talking about. And he goes through the, uh, the various uh, things that have been discussed, carbon capture and storage. I think he shows me very clearly that in some parts of the country that's not realistic. It's simply far too far away from anywhere that we could uh, bury carbon. And uh, talks about solar, solar uh, furnaces, the uh, solar thermal, where you, instead of the usual solar panels, you have mirrors that collect onto a collector and you can generate much more power. Uh, that's going to be big. And, and everything that's happening and how it, how it relates to us. He even does a little bit of science fiction. He has, uh, 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 I'm not sure this is a wise thing, but he has Kevin Rudd out of office in 2012. <laughs> I don't know if the Kevin would be very keen on that. Really. But as I looked at this book, I thought, well, not, I'd like every Australian to read it. That's, that's kind of a big ask. I'd really like every Australian politician to read it. Uh, I think it's important because it, it is sensible it, it, it's, it's not, uh, it's not a, 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 um, a kind of a dumping of a, 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 it's not a rant. You know, some of the climate change stuff, especially some of the anti-climate change stuff, is a rant. There's a very prominent one published recently, but I won't mention the name. And um, it's sensible, logical, rational, and kind of fun to read. He's even done a little bit of science fiction. Uh, with uh, Kevin disappearing, and I think Saudi Arabia's gone, and, uh, and so forth. So, so, not only buy the book, um, get it for your friends. Buy a lot of copies tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to them for Christmas presents. Don't you should be marketing. Don't take them a bottle of wine. I mean, take them Ben's book. <laughs> if you're in the Labour Party, Make sure every everyone in government has one, both federally and state. Uh, I, there may be someone from the conservative political ranks here. They can read and be sure to give them as well. And uh, so, it is a good book, and uh, I, I have no no problem recommending it to you. And I I really congratulate Ben on, on writing something that I think is a, an important. Book. I'd also like to see it at the schools, quite frankly, because I think it's the sort of book that children <coughs> can read and they can relate to. Uh, they're, they're pretty conscious of this area of climate change and greenhouse gas and so forth. It's a, a great opportunity for teachers to, to bring them into science and get them to understand something about what's happening. And this little book is, uh, is something that should be read. So, well done. Well, Thanks thank a lot, Ben. Um, oh, look. <laughs>